It's at dawn. He's getting ready for school. Not to teach, but to learn. He's called Isaac, an old man who is 71 years old, and he's in third grade. I'm called Isaac, and I'm 71 years old. I didn't get a chance to go to school when I was young because we had no schools in our village. I served in the army, but I quit after 12 years because I became weak. After becoming a veteran, most of my friends and neighbors were graduates. So I just thought that in order to survive in the future, I need to be skilled enough. That's how I took a great decision and went to school for the sake of a better future. In my class, no student is older than another. We all look the same to our teacher. I try to respect my colleagues and teachers in general, regardless their ages, as I was doing in the army. This is my third year of attending school. I wake up early and get prepared for school. And it doesn't matter whether I eat or not as long as I'm learning how to read and write. We asked him whether his fellow old men agreed with his decision of going to school. Isaac replied saying that they couldn't understand him at all, mostly at his first year because even the teachers couldn't wrap it to their heads. But now, day by day, they are convinced that it's a good idea, and he wishes that they can join him, because school helps him a lot, mostly in mathematics and languages. Qui va donner la formule pour calculer? Ok, Babou! Hein? La moutonne n'a quitté qui s'en appelle comme un somme. At my school, my colleagues used to discourage me that I'm really old. I shouldn't be going to school, that I'll die very soon. But I feel like I'm still young. There is still so many things I can do. Isaac does a long journey on his way to school, and he walks for 40 minutes at least on his foot every day to school. When he's back home, he helps his mother with home chores like other children. (laughs) 
Kwa mazina mi naitwa Katungu Shipora. Huyu ni mtoto wangu. I'm called Katungu Sipola. I'm 90 years old and I'm the mother of Isaac. Isaac was a special child since his childhood. He was courageous in everything. Even the army, his colleagues talked much about him. He has never married a wife until now. Yet I gave birth to him at the age of 19. He's my firstborn. I really support him and it makes me happy. The feeling that my child also goes to school because in our times, there were no schools. When he's back from school, he gives a hand at home. Even though it looks like he will never make life out of his studies, but at least he showed courage and made us realize that everything is possible because by then, he can read and write. We visited Isaac at school and it shocked us to see how much this old man is determined and very courageous replying to his teachers, nevertheless his age, weakness and slow. He's determined to show people that he's capable and everything is possible. No matter how much they discourage him that he must retire, he wants to believe that he will be a graduate and he will benefit from it. I play football in my break time with my classmates. It rests my head when I'm at school. I forget my troubles and lots of terrible things I have seen in the wilderness at my times in the army. I think everybody should know how to read and write because the technology in the world we are facing nowadays is too quick and strong. In the early age, people lived with no books. They could live their entire lives without any thought of going to school until they are very old and yet manage to have a good life. But now, life is mathematics and too much calculations. Even money requires counting. People should not be afraid and follow their hearts, regardless others' comments and discourages. Story by Jansi Shamamba and I'm Vanessa Matis.